I think it's safe to say we can put an exclamation point after book one here at the Keeneland November Breeding Stock Sale, joined by Bob Elliston, Vice President of Racing and Sales. I've heard rave, rave reviews, but let me get your initial reaction to what we witnessed these first two days. Yeah, dynamite. I mean, you know, we sold over 200 incredibly uh, gifted um, accomplishments by breeders. Uh, weanlings, today we had a million dollar weanling. Uh, we've had 17 millionaires in the first two days of book one. Uh, there's been excitement from the very kickoff yesterday, the very first hip was a million and we had uh, almost one at the end there but that weanling came late so it's been terrific across the board. It seems like there's a lot of international interest as well. Quite a few of these mares especially heading to Japan. What have you seen from that standpoint? Yeah, you know, that's that's what the, the November sale is all about. It truly is uh, the place you go, regardless of where you're from, Australia, South America, Japan, England, France, Germany, and, yeah, the good old U.S. too. I mean, and everybody was playing there. I, I mean, of those 17 millionaires, I think... I think at least half of them got to be out of, out of country, which is dynamite. Uh, that's what November is all about. That's why we bring 4,100 horses here. Uh, and this week is tremendous in terms of the high end. Uh, now we're moving into the middle market, and there will be a strong international contingent as part of that. And then next week as well, we start to see the Koreans come. We start to see um, some of the, the folks in Turkey, some of the folks in um, Singapore. So. That's what November is really about. It is the international hub for, for breeding stock. And year in and year out, especially with the freshman sires that we're seeing for the weanlings, have you seen it consistently grow? Is there more interest in the weanlings? Yeah, I, I think I think we've had some good friends. Uh, our friends John Secura really has helped us out tremendously with bringing in these incredibly well-bred yearlings, like the half to violence today that, that, that came late. Uh, that helps. There's no question about this year, there's some exciting first year sires. Honor Code, Liam's Map, um, you know, I can go down the list, but this may be American Pharaoh, uh, uh, you know, I mean, this could be one of the, the most remarkable years in terms of first crop sires uh, and having those weanlings on board. But, you know, what's also cool about this is come next Monday and Tuesday, we have horses of racing age. And again, our friends at Windstar kind of help us kick that off too, because you're going to have some incredibly talented horses that are ready made and ready to go to the racetrack. And we'll see them at Gulfstream in, in January or at Santa Anita in January. So yeah, there's something for everybody. And eventually here at Keeneland in April or in fall as well. I, this is something I spoke with Bill about earlier, but it's so full circle. They start here in this ring, they sell here and then eventually race here. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we talk about that particularly for September with the yearlings. You know, we, we, we just had uh, four graduates from this place win Breeders' Cup races this past weekend. Uh, we had three that raced with us also on the track up there. So seven Bre Breeders' Cup champions had connections to Keeneland in the last couple of years, and that happens every year. And that's the symmetry about Keeneland and only Keeneland where – uh, they are bred here, they're sold here, and they return here, right? And, and they return here as champions, which is cool. It's exciting for our viewers, too, because they truly get to follow them from the moment they enter this ring to hopefully going to the racetrack here at Keeneland and then maybe enter the ring once again. Bob, thank you so much for your time here at TVG. We really appreciate getting to show our viewers another side of the business. Well, uh, for me, it's, it's incredible as a race fan. Uh, your all's ability to showcase the draft. I call, we've talked about this before, but that's what September and November are. They're like the NFL draft for horse racing, and, and only TBG is out there taking that to the, to the fans. So way to go. We appreciate the partnership. Well, it's a lot of fun for us, so thank you again. That is a wrap on book one here at the Keeneland November breeding stock sale, but much more to come. They've got another 10 days here, and I'm sure it's going to be an absolute success.